Number eight. In what substance in table 25.1 is the speed of light 2.29 times 10 to the 8 meters per second? All right, so in order to identify a substance, it's very handy to be able to identify its index of refraction. Now that formula is this, that the index of refraction is simply a ratio between the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in that particular medium, whatever it is. So to find the index of refraction, we take our speed of light in a vacuum, three times 10 to the eight, and we divide it by the velocity of that light in a certain substance or a certain medium, which in this problem they said was 2.29 times 10 to the eight, okay? And what we do is we literally just plug it into the calculator. So three times 10 to the eight, and the eights will cancel. So you can just basically do three divided by 2.29, okay? So this works out to be about 1.31. All right, now this is the index of refraction. Now this index of refraction, if we know, if we have a table of indexes, indices of refraction, well then guess what? We can basically find the item. So we look through our table over here, we're looking for 1.31. 1.31, where are you? Going once, going twice, I can't even find you. 1.31, 1.31, do you see it? I see it, it's about ice, okay? That's the closest one. So ice at 20 degrees Celsius, so this must be ice, ice at 20 degrees, what? I said 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, sure. <laughs> I said 20 degrees Celsius, what? Is that ice anymore? Well, I guess it might have a shiny little, uh, little exterior, right? It starts to, I, I don't know. Don't ask me guys, don't, don't ask me. I'm perplexed as well. Anyway, sure. Thanks for tuning in. I right, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully this helps. And uh, if you're still confused about ice being at 20 degrees Celsius, well, join the club. Take care.